Hello guys, what's up? My name is Harsh Kark and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install the XOSP 7.1 on your S Duo. Mind it guys, it's not XOSP 6 which is running on Marshmallow, it's XOSP 7.1.1 which is running on Nougat. So guys, first of all, let us let me show you uh, my device current status. Uh, let me quickly jump up into about phone section. Here you can see my device model is GTS 7.5.2 running on Cyanogen version 12.1 and Android version 5.1.1 so guys on this ROM I am going to flash the XOSP 7.1 so first of all let me show you the files you required for this installation process uh, download the given files and paste them in your external SD card so first one is this XOSP uh, and second one is that A gaps uh, make sure to download it from the below links only and paste them on your micro SD card so guys let me go back and so let's get started first of all you guys have to power off your device uh, now you have to boot up into the TWRP recovery uh, press volume up power key and home button three of them together until uh, you see the TWRP recovery now we have booted up into TWRP recovery firstly make sure to back up everything and then swipe to make the backup so in case anything goes wrong you can click on this uh, restore button select the backup and flash it i have already made it so i will not make it again click on wipe now you have to click on advanced wipe select dalvik system data internal and cache not micro sd card swipe to wipe so it will be over soon after that uh, go click on the back now just click on install and first of all install this XOSP ROM and swipe to confirm the flash actually I have fast forward this part so it will take approximately 8 to 10 minutes for the installation so guys please wait patiently and let the ROM install it and moreover guys uh, please follow the steps I provide in my tutorials only after this you have to reboot your phone you don't have to install the gaps without reboot or your uh, because if you do that your status bar will not be visible to you so make sure to follow the steps now click on reboot system it will reboot our device and open open the device so it will this uh, boot animation will take up some time uh, maybe five to six minutes so i will quickly fast forward this part so it will not bore you So guys you can see I have successfully booted up into our device and my notification bar is working absolutely fine, our brightness is also working fine. Now if I will uh, go to app section, uh, now here you can see that I have only 10 to 12 apps in uh, my device so which will make this room very smooth. You can see only basic apps, browser, calculator are there. Let me test the camera, click on allow. So since you can see my camera is working fine without any bugs of unfortunately camera has stopped working or anything like that. Now let me go uh, quickly go to about phone section. The only bug is in the about phone section if you will click it it will show that settings have been stopped. That's it. No other work on this room. Rest everything works fine. If you go on more you can find the wireless and network settings. In XPSP settings you can find different ways to customize your XPSP ROM. Moreover here you can see that our Play Store app is missing. You can clearly see that but since it is necessary we have to install that app. So you just have to uh, power off your device and then uh, go to the uh, TWRP recovery again. So let me quickly power off my device and boot up into TWRP recovery. You know the key combination to boot up into TWRP recovery, right? Volume up, power key and home button, three of them together until you see the logo. Now click on never show this message again and swipe to allow modification. Click on install, browse the agaps file, uh, that first one, agaps.zip, sorry, this, yeah. Now swipe to confirm its flash. It will also take up some time and you can clearly see that I have fast forward this part so guys please sit back patiently and wait for its installation. Now our device will boot up and this time it will not take much time just 2 to 3 minutes in booting up. 
so now if i will go to app section i can see my play store here this last one is my play store so let me check it so it's working fine and my notification bar is also working pretty fine if you want more tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe my channel like and share this video as much as you can and i will see you guys in the next one